y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Alyssa and for today's video we are back with another yas or pause where I sit and chat with you about new and upcoming makeup releases giving you my unsolicited thoughts and opinions on them on whether or not we should spend our hard-earned money on them so as always you guys know I love talking about stuff especially when I don't have to spend no money on it and so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started all right, y'all, you guys know the drill by now. We're using Trend Mood to find everything we're gonna be talking about. Her Instagram page will be linked down below. I will pop up pictures of everything I'm discussing here on the screen so you can follow along. And let's just dive right into it. First thing on her page is something real simple. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. They're going to be new shades. So this is a product that already exists of her gloss drips. Um, there's gonna be Sweet Like Honey, a sheer grapefruit, Playfully Pink, Baby Pink with Sparkle, and then Fall in Love, which they didn't give me a description of, but I'm gonna assume that it is the little red cherry looking one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I did not know Kylie Cosmetics had these. These look like they are just like squeezy tube glosses, kind of like this one right here. That's kind of what the packaging and the picture leads me to believe. Um, to be honest with you, I do not think that I would pick these up simply because I have few glosses in squeezy tubes that like I do like you guys know the Laneige um, like little lip balm is my favorite like that and so I don't anticipate buying something from Kylie Cosmetics that kind of gives me the same thing because I don't really wear glosses that like squeeze out like that with kind of colors in them I guess that makes sense to you. Um, it's funny I didn't even know she had these in general. I have not paid attention to Kylie Cosmetics in a very long time, so I have no idea. So this is probably gonna be a pass for me. Um, ooh, however, something that won't be a pass for me, but is just simply new shades to align. My girl Rihanna Fenty Beauty is coming out with new shades in the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes. You guys know that I love those cream blushes from Fenty Beauty. I have three. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Um, let me see what colors I have so I can tell you guys. I know I have Strawberry Drip. That's a pink one that's absolutely stunning. Um, Summertime Wine is like a more mauve color. That is one of my faves for like fall and winter. And then I also have Fuego Flush, which is like the orangey one. This one is my least favorite out of all three. It is really, really sheer. Like when you look at it in the pan, you're like, oh my gosh, it is going to be an orange blush. It is very sheer. And I think this is because this has some sort of like sparkle in it. It's the only one that I know of from her line that has sparkles in it, which I think kind of gives it that more sheer type of a color. So that's my least favorite one. I, it's not one that I would necessarily recommend to you all, but Strawberry Drip, absolutely stunning. And Summertime Wine literally love this one right here and so you guys know i would be peeping these new colors it looks like they've got peach face which is a soft peach raisin standards oh that's cute a soft blackberry riri a soft rose mob big melons a soft coral that is so cute and pinky promise a soft peachy peak with shimmer so that one is states with shimmer that would probably be the one i would recommend you stay away from um, but the colors they look really pretty. I would want to see them in person or even just like swatched along the other ones, which they do have a picture of here, but it's hard to see without zooming in. But um, these look really pretty. These would definitely be something that I go and check out in store. I'm going to pop this picture up right here that I'm looking at right now. Um, they're swatching big melons. That looks pretty. I think that is what I wanted Fuego Flush to look like. And if that beats that out for me, um, that would be amazing. Okay, apparently Prada is launching their first makeup and skincare line. Um, you've got eyeshadow palettes. Um, each one includes three shades with different finishes and the colors are apparently inspired by Prada prints. Um, 13 lipstick with two finishes, a hyper matte and a soft matte, a lip balm, a foundation and then they've got like skin creams and they are in euros so I do not know what that means for American dollars so I do apologize for that um, I will say there is something about luxury brands that are very mostly miss for me on makeup I really think luxury brands kind of miss the mark a lot of the times when it comes 
to makeup like they just it's like they're like well just because I'm Prada I'm just gonna do it and someone will buy it and that is true people will buy this um, I am not gonna be one of those people uh, lipsticks are kind of whatever if I ever bought anything from it I it would probably be a lipstick lipstick is always the safest option in my personal opinion to go for I can tell you right now the eyeshadows I hate the way those look I hate the packaging I hate the shape of the shadows I don't like it and some of them like some look nice like the one in the pink up here like that's a decent little like situation but like this one that's like gray silver and yellow why'd you do that like that doesn't make any sense to me but that's you know it's not my business that's Prada's business you know what I'm saying um, apparently Glossier is doing a new stretch fluid foundation it says it's 89% skincare based a moisturizing gel cream emulsion featuring a plant-derived squalene and glycerin to moisturize and nourish the skin's moisture barrier in 32 shades I that sounds pretty promising um, across seven shade categories and five undertone groups they're $34 um, and their stretch balm concealer has expanded its shade range to 32 um, foundation matching shades uh, so $34 is not bad for a foundation it will be interesting to see because I do think it would depend on your skin type to how well this would work for you because Glossier is tricky for me Glossier is very much the no makeup makeup girly and occasionally I am a no makeup makeup girly uh, today is one of the first days in a long time that I have put foundation on my skin and not just kind of like gone in with concealer it's funny because wearing the foundation today it reminds me why I'm not the biggest no makeup makeup girly <laughs> like I love it for certain days when I want to look really natural or I don't want to put a lot of makeup on um, but sometimes I use like my concealer and I end up putting it on like a foundation anyways it just kind of depends on my vibe but I to my core within my heart of hearts I am a a makeup girly like if I'm gonna have makeup on I'm just gonna have makeup on you know what I'm saying like I'm not trying to make anybody be like no I just woke up like this no I didn't girl I really put effort into this and you're gonna know it um, so I think the skincare portion would depend because it may be based for like a more normal to dry skin individual um, so that would be dependent and the coverage that it could provide because I won't lie if I'm gonna put on a foundation and it's really gonna give me no coverage I'd rather just go in with like my touches of concealer and do what I need to do versus putting something over my whole skin which again I understand that some people are looking to kind of even out their base so I think it's gonna be very dependent on you um, the shade range based on that again is gonna play a large part into it so I don't know it is a possibility I have considered like trying Glossier especially since I have been a little bit more of a no makeup makeup girly here lately but I just don't know that I want to invest in a whole lot of it because I just don't think that I'm going to get the same kind of use out of it as the other things I already own to do my no makeup makeup routine if that makes sense that felt very long-winded I do apologize I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this foundation what do you think and if you are a Glossier girly then I would love to know that as well like what do you love about them favorite product throw it at me okay not the NYX butter gloss coming out with a black lip gloss we love seeing them get ahead for spooky season okay that's exactly why they did that living and loving it now I am a butter gloss fan I do not have any in my collection I may have one in my collection from before but when I first got into makeup I was a butter gloss girl the butter glosses are a great formula they are so affordable which is like of course the most amazing part about it and they have a ton of colors like there's going to be something in there for everybody um and I feel like for younger women younger girls and even just anybody in general who doesn't want to spend a lot of money but I think it's a great place to start it's a great lip gloss to get into and ain't nothing wrong with a black lip gloss like I may need to throw this in my collection just so I have it okay because that's fun and especially for the price how am I gonna be mad I'm not but that's stunning it it looks gorgeous on everybody it looks super shiny and super black that would be the also thing too I would hope that the pigmentation would really really be there because if it's not because other people do black lip glosses and they're so sheer and they just don't do it now nah, this looks like like if it pulls up like it's looking here in these swatches then that's a, that's amazing that would be like a 10 out of 10 for me in my book 
All right, so with the new hype around the Barbie movie, of course, Barbie is collaborating with anything and everything, which I absolutely adore. So Define Me Creative Studio and Mattel um, have created the Barbie perfume. It says it encapsulates the essence of sparkle and joy, combining a vibrant blend of floral, fruity, and gourmand notes to captivate your senses from the very first spritz. Retails for $65 and you can get it from Macy's and or Amazon. Um, top notes are pomelo, strawberry, nectar, red cherry, and dragon fruit. Middle are Delilah Rose, gardenia, peony, and pink magnolia. Base is sandalwood, whipped cream, and soft musk. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't sound like something that I would personally love. It sounds like it would be a little too sweet for my taste, but I do think the bottle is pretty, and I just love how it, like hard the marketing team for Barbie just like went at everything they had to do like this is amazing so if you've tried this i would love to know what it smells like and what you think um but like i said i just love how hard the barbie marketing team is really went in all right next we've got um a new uh glazed donut aftershave glow cream from truly beauty uh, so this is a rich body moisturizer that deeply nourishes, hydrates, and protects with an indulgent vanilla glaze scent. Um, melts into the skin for instant razor burn and bump relief and leaves skin gorgeously smooth and glowing. It is $32, which it is so funny, but I've never really paid attention to the Truly products because, you know, they do sell some at Ulta. I've never paid attention to the price. I don't know why that feels like that is more expensive than it should be for the brand. Like the brand does not give off that kind of price for the vibe um truly to me has always given off a very like kiddo vibe which is not bad but like you know i feel like some of their stuff is gimmicky as well like when they've got like this this particular like dropper serum is like specifically for your boobies and this one's specifically for your butt and this is here and that girl like i'm gonna put my body cream everywhere okay i moisturize religiously pretty much every night like unless I'm dog tired and just like trying to fall into bed then I won't but like I make it a point to get out of the shower pat myself down and put my body cream on and I'm talking I put my body cream on from like here because I do use like some of my facial stuff on my neck so pretty much like boob like shoulders like I scoop down and like everywhere okay like everywhere my hands can get it gets moisturized my cheeks my boobs my legs, my feet, everything, okay? And I just use the same product. And so I always find a little gimmicky, like their stuff is like, this is for this part of your body and this not. A moisturizer is a moisturizer, okay? Just like don't put it in and around your, your private areas, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, that's all that it should be. Um, and then the fact that it's like that weird whipped cream texture, I don't know, I just, I'm not a fan of how most of them look either. Um, so I don't know this probably isn't going to be for me and by probably I mean I don't know why I even said it like that because it's not going to be for me because of the product in general but also I don't like that it says that it smells like a glazed donut I hate the smell of vanilla hate it absolutely I despise the smell of vanilla like things like that like I don't want my body smelling like that you guys know I am a coconut girl through and through I want to smell like a tropical beach not like food like you guys know i do not love food scented things and so like this will be a negative to me um so yeah i would say no i would love to know what you guys think about truly or if you've used their products before and how you feel like they perform because i'm just really i just ain't seen it you know what i'm saying like i just don't know all right talking about another brand i've kind of been obsessed with lately tree hut is of course now dropping their fall collection um, you guys know I'm a fall loving girly. I do love me some fall and Christmas love and stuff. Um, however, when it comes to fall scents, I'm very picky. I'm not a pumpkin spice girl, like not even close. Um, so their scents are pumpkin spice, boba milk tea, um, iced coffee, um, sweet cream. And so these scents, um, like it's not that I wouldn't go smell them, but they're I highly doubt they're going to be for me. The only one I could see myself really enjoying and like being willing to use would be the iced coffee because like I've used true like coffee scrubs in the past and I love the smell of coffee, but like pumpkin spice, negative. I don't want to smell like sweet cream. There's also one that looks like it says apple macchiato, but that wasn't listed there um, as a scrub. So I don't know that and the boba milk tea like there's a probably not going to be ones for me I'm probably going to stick with their summer scents because again I'm a coconut I'm a lime you know I want to smell tropical 
again, not like food. So, but you guys do know I love Tree Hut. I love their sugar scrubs. I think they're absolutely phenomenal. And so if you are a pumpkin spice loving girly, then go check them out because for the price, you can't be mad. They perform so stinking well. So their products are really good. Okay, Makeup Forever has released what they're, they just wrote face powders. I assume that's, I don't know why I just didn't say like blushes and highlighters, but it looks like to be just like blushes and highlighters. First of all, I have not even thought about Makeup Forever in literally forever. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have a single Makeup Forever product still remaining. And I did like a lot of their products back in the day. Um, you guys know I'm in my blush era, so possibly these look gorgeous. It looks like they've got a couple pink shades, um, like peachy, little orange, little coral, 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 Lord have mercy. Um, so these look like they could be nice. Um, highlighters, yeah, uh, they're hard to tell in a picture. Like a highlighter all looks kind of the same and sometimes they look, they photograph really bad just in the pan. So I won't know. Um, but it looks like you can remove them from the packaging, which is pretty cool. So who knows? Maybe, uh, it just depends on if I remember, I won't lie. That would be the only thing about it because makeup forever really doesn't cross my mind. And so if I just never think about it again, then I'll have never tried it, but I'm always down for a new blush. Like that is the one thing here lately that I'm just like, yeah, how, how many blushes is too many blushes? I just don't, I don't think there is a limit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Drunk Elephant, you know, we love Drunk Elephant for the bronze drops. I love my bronzing drops from Drunk Elephant. They are a staple in my collection when I need to adjust the color of my foundation to be a little bit darker sometimes, but they have added the B Goldie Bright Drops. So this is an illuminating serum that adds an easy golden finish without being sparkly or glittery. A blend of 5% niacinamide, um, different types of acids, mulberry leaf extract. Um, it says it fades hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and post breakout marks to improve skin's clarity and radiance. And replenishing omega oils nourish and soothe. It retails for $38. I kind of love that it's like the added skincare element there, especially someone who really does struggle with like um, hyperpigmentation and dark spots from the sun and just from acne in general. I love that that is something that they're kind of incorporating into that. Um, honestly, might be something that I do take a peek at. Um, I can't tell if it comes with like more than one shade. I don't think so. I think it's just the one, but um, that would be interesting to try because if you just want like a light glow on your skin, either under your makeup or just on its own, I do like that it has those active ingredients. Um, should they actively perform like that? That would be really cool. Okay, this is super interesting. Morphe is collabing with Meredith, Meredith Duxbury. I believe if I'm not mistaken, isn't that the woman on TikTok who like wears an excessive amount of foundation? Like she just puts a lot on there. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's her. Um, she's stunning, absolutely beautiful. Um, but it says, it's inspired by days spent at a penthouse pool. Cannot relate, so you know. That must be so nice, I have no idea. Um, but it says the collection captures the full effect of city glam after a spontaneous dive into cool water. So it's a very interesting kind of theme. Um, so you are gonna get a 35 pan palette, $34. Um, a powder multi-effect palette for 18 bucks. A foaming face primer, $17. Lip liner and glaze duo, duo for $16. Brow sculpting wax and brush duo, $13. Eye, face, and lip gloss, $12. So you guys know that as of late, I, I'm not a huge, huge fan of like super, super big palettes because I have so many palettes already, like I have a ton of colors that like the bigger the palette is, it's almost just like stuff that like, I'm gonna reach for the palettes I already have and own and love. And then those kind of get pushed to the wayside. Um, I will say in the swatches of these colors, I do feel like this is a pretty well-rounded palette. Like you've got a whole set of pastels here and then you get your like, couple pops of color, but she also got a lot of neutrals. And then we go into these like gorgeous deep shades and these are swatched stunning. Like they are 
really pretty swatches like they're they appear to be very 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 pigmented i do like morphe shadows they do perform well i mean heck i'm wearing the jaclyn hill and morphe volume 2 on my eyes today so i do think morphe palettes are good quality i just think it depends on what you're gonna wear um the face palette thing because there's not up close i'm not really sure foaming primer really doesn't get me super crazy um I am not a fan of like the eye, face, and lip gloss. I don't want anything like wet like that on my skin, but as someone who's more oily in general, that just doesn't work for me. I do like though that you're getting a lot of stuff. Like it's pretty much giving full face when you're getting like the lip products, the primer, the brow product, and the sculpting wax. Like I do think that's nice. Like it seems to be a very well-rounded collection and not just like, hey, we just threw another palette out at you. So I do like that aspect. To be honest, I would have to see some of this just in person to kind of decide if it would be really worth my time and my money and fit into my collection in a way that I, you know, feel is good enough for me to buy it. But I do think, it, like I said, I'm very impressed. It's a very well-rounded collection. I really love to see it. I don't know if Meredith has collabed with a ton of other brands already um, or not. She's not someone that, like, I religiously follow. And so if this is like one of her first collabs, I do think it's a very good one to start off with. Um, next, we're only just gonna do a couple more. So it looks like Beyonce is putting out a new perfume. It's called Act One Renaissance. That's very interesting. Um, it says it's a perfume crafted and designed by Beyonce. It'll be 1.7 fluid ounces for $160. That is pricey. Uh, top notes, Clementine, Golden Honey, um, uh, middle notes, Rose Absolute and Jasmine. And then base is uh, Nambian Mirth and Golden Amber. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Again, I would have to give it a sniff uh, right off the bat. I don't know that it's for me, but I do think it's fun that Beyonce is putting out a perfume. Does she, I don't, would this be like her first one? I don't think she's ever done one. Unless I'm just like really missing it and like maybe she won like way back in the day, but I have no clue. And then let's finish up here. Last but not least, so the um, there are new shades from Light Lacquer. There are six sheer nude polishes. Um, Mrs. Potts, Mrs. Darling, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Wheeler, Mrs. Robinson, and Mrs. Bennett. And they are all like gorgeous neutral shades um, from like brown to more mauve to slightly more... Um, like cream looking colors and these look really pretty. I am a big fan of Kathleen Lights's nail polish brand. I have quite a few from her original version of the brand, KL Polish. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not personally purchased any from the Lights Lacquer brand and that's just because I'm not someone who is typically paints my nails often. I mean, uh, this is still me continuing to paint my nails um, and I will say that now that I've gotten back into a kick of painting my nails, I've been painting them at this point, probably a smidgen over a month. At each week I change up my nail color. I just kind of spend a little time to myself in my room watching a podcast and I've been painting my nails and I have really enjoyed giving myself that time and something to do. And I have enjoyed having my nails painted. It's also made my nails grow longer for some reason. Like I'm like more careful with them, who knows. Um, but her KL polishes are phenomenal. I have no doubt in my mind that her lac lights lacquer polishes are just as good if not better. And so I have been peeping and creeping on her website here lately to see if I wanted to like add some colors to my collection. And so yeah, this is something that I have seen this. I did know that this was coming. I follow this on Instagram, this brand. And so I may, I don't know, I'm not, I tend to not really do neutrals on my nails. Like if I'm gonna paint my nails, I just do like a fun color. Like I love pinks, yellows. I have like a, a dusty purple and a dusty blue that's like super pretty that I love to do. Like this week it's orange. This is from OPI nowhere near as good as her brand but that's what this is and of course i just enjoy having fun colors i think if i'm gonna spend all that time i want it to look like i'm wearing nail polish from wherever you see my nails so anyways you guys that is going to be all for today's video as always i would love to know your thoughts and opinions on anything that i chatted about here with you today i want to thank you again for spending your time here with me as always i greatly appreciate you if you enjoyed the video of course give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Not me knocking over everything within my arm's reach. Jeez.